Hey fam! Welcome to the DNI channel. Have you ever wondered what opportunities are available for you in tech? In this video, we will break down all the career paths that are available for you in the tech industry. This week, we analyzed the career websites of 10 top tech companies, which included Adobe, Airbnb, Apple, Facebook, Google, Intuit, Microsoft, Pandora, Salesforce, and YouTube. And we have developed an insightful breakdown of all the career paths available for you to pursue in the tech industry. These include technical and also non-technical roles. At the end of the video, we will be sharing interesting career paths that you may have not thought of existed in the tech industry. So stay tuned. So the first career path is business development and strategy. Business development and strategy consists of creating insightful strategies to monetize products, developing partners across different markets, identifying acquisition and investments, and negotiating contracts. To provide you an example, if you're working for Uber or Lyft, these are ride-sharing mobile apps, and you are part of the business development and strategy team, on a day-to-day, -day, you will be in charge of growing the business, essentially getting more riders and more drivers on the platform, and you can do this in many different ways. One could be expanding to Latin America and figuring out the plan for that. It could also be acquiring smaller startups in those countries that are also ride-sharing platforms and have a lot of users and drivers already that you can leverage into your own platform and grow it. So that is just a quick example. And now we'll be moving on to the next one. The next career path is data science and analytics. Data scientists and analysts use consumer and product data to develop insights that influence business decisions. This helps a company decide what feature or product they should build or create next to make the experience for the user better. So let's say you're a data scientist working on a social media app and you're collecting a lot of data from users that comments and notifications are becoming very annoying. So on your day to day, you will do a deeper dive into what's really the root cause of, of that experience. And second, provide insights and recommendations to the product team so that they can improve the, that experience. So for instance, you can mention, hey, we should group messages and notifications so that instead of writing them 10, 20 notifications at a time, we can just provide them with two or three notifications throughout the whole day. The next career path is design. So under the design department, there is the UI and UX designers. UI stands for user interface, and these designers are responsible for creating the look and style of the application. This is one of the first things that you see when you open an application. A UX designer is responsible for the feel and experience of the application. And UX is short for user experience. An example of a great UI UX is the Airbnb platform. It's beautifully designed. It's really easy to navigate. If you're searching for your next travel destination, they make it very simple for you to find a place to stay. Also designers perform, perform research to figure out what is the best design or best experience for the user and create powerful visuals. Awesome. The next career path is the employee experience team, which is responsible for creating and improving the company culture. What this means is designing programs that help employees grow in their careers, feel that they're supported, and also ensuring that we have benefits and perks that allow employees to stay at a company, make sure that they're happy, they're having good experience, so that they can really be productive and focus on their main priorities each day. The next career path is engineering. And this is where the software engineers fall into place. The engineers are responsible for developing the products and tools for a company that are used both by internal and external users. We also solve technical problems that arise on a day-to-day -day basis. There are different types of engineering. A back-end engineer is responsible for developing the logic of an application. A front-end engineer is responsible for developing the look of the application or product. A full-stack engineer will do both back-end and front-end work. And there are web and mobile developers responsible for developing applications within those specific devices. So like making websites and then mobile apps, either on iOS or Android or any other operating system. The next career path is finance. This team is responsible for solving problems in accounting and compliance. They manage the balance sheets and keep the business on track so that they meet their business goals year over year. The next team is human resources or HR. They're the ones in charge of growing the company in regards to employees. Their day-to-day -day looks like sourcing for talent internally and externally, scheduling interviews, 
and then following up with candidates and providing offers for the candidates that have been successful in their interview loops. The next career path is IT or information technology. This team is responsible for helping you set up your laptops, grant you permission to different accounts. Or they tools. help you with technical issues. They also help with developing the infrastructure to help thousands of employees get all the tech tools that they need for their day-to-day -day job. Our next career path is legal. Have any of you watched the show Law & Order? Well, yes. There's also a lot of laws and policies in the tech industry. As part of the legal team, you will be responsible for crafting some of those policies when you're launching a new feature or product and it's going out to different types of users or markets. You will also be responsible for negotiating and finalizing legal contracts and even drafting external policies and communicating those to your clients, businesses, and any type of user that is consuming something on your product or is being part of your community. As part of the legal team, you're also responsible for staying up to date with the latest laws that will affect your company. Our next role is comms or communications. This team develops stories, messaging, FAQs, which are frequently asked questions, helps center articles and content that can influence and improve the experience for users. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you can think of the communications team as the storytellers who are writing the narrative day to day of a company and providing that external messaging to clients and users so that they know what the company stands for, what they're working on, what's the latest product they're launching, mm -hmm. and is really the voice of a company. As a member of the communications team, your job is to captivate the user and keep them engaged with your product and your company. Awesome. Now on to the next career path, which is marketing. As a member of the marketing team, you are responsible for developing branding materials and create stories for marketing campaigns that capture your users. People in marketing influence the perception that users have about a company. An example of a great brand and a great marketing company is Apple. Whenever you see that Apple, you know that it stands for something that's different, something that's bold. That is what marketing does. It's the magic behind a product that makes you want to have that product in your hands or be part of that community because it makes you feel a certain way. What's innovative, what's cool, trending, it's up to you, but that's what a brand stands for and that's what marketing people do. We're almost there. Our next career path is product management. As a product manager, you're in charge of designing the product roadmap, which is a timeline of milestones that you wanna hit throughout a certain period of time to ensure that your team is moving along in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And also you're working cross-functionally with many different teams to ensure that you have a successful product launch. Ultimately, product managers are also responsible for the vision and strategy of a product to ensure that engineers know what to work on and they're also feeling motivated as they move on through each of those milestones that you have laid out in the product roadmap. Our next career path, number 14 on the list, operations, which is also known as customer service, or product support. This team is responsible for ensuring that there's a process for clients and businesses to report any issues that they're having with specific product or platform and also ensuring that clients get those issues resolved by working closely with engineers, cross-functional teams, and reporting anything back to the client. To give an example of what operations looks like on a day-to-day, -day, let's say that you're a product specialist or a support agent and a client reports that their ad is rendering blurry or pixelated, then what you would do is conduct further investigation, probably leveraging some of the internal tools that you have access to, mm -hmm. and doing a lot of troubleshooting steps, making sure the client has the right permissions, connections, their ad meets the specific requirements that are needed for, for an ad to render correctly. And if you find that there is some unexpected behavior, that is what is called a bug. And that's when you reach out to engineers to help you resolve those issues. Mm -hmm. And then it might be that they have to do an update to the code and then that might resolve the issue. And then reporting back to the client that, hey, your issue has been resolved. You can now render that ad correctly. The last career that we are going to talk about is sales. The person who is in the sales team is responsible for selling what the company offers. They are also responsible for developing new business opportunities, increasing the use of a company's products, they also negotiate with other companies and solve challenges for businesses with the goal of increasing the company's revenue. Woo! We made it to the end of the list. Now you know 15 career paths that are available for you to be part of the tech industry. I have personally debunked one of the biggest myths in the tech industry. 
which is that you need a computer science degree or that you need to have some sort of technical experience to enter the tech industry. I studied business in college and I'm working at Facebook. And so if I can do it, you can definitely do it. If there's any role that you find interesting that aligns with something you've done in the past, with some classes you've taken, and you want to give it a shot, please do so. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself and make sure you apply to those roles. We've listed out 15 career paths that you can follow and they require a lot of diversity of skills. You can be a creative, a person who loves to draw, who loves to design. If you're a great writer, you can work in comps. If you love problem solving, but don't know how to program, you can still do operations and customer service work. There's a lot of work that can be done. And that's why we encourage all of you to apply to any tech companies that align with your passion. As we said in the beginning, now we are going to mention some interesting career paths that you may not have heard of before. Five interesting career paths that we found are hardware, real estate, creative, public policy, and trust and safety. If you want to learn more about what these career paths consist of, please take a look at the career pages of the companies that we listed at the beginning of the video. If there is one thing that you take away from this video, it's that you belong in the tech industry. Everyone brings different perspectives and skills that are vital to growing a company. Your background, your perspective, your ethnicity, your culture is important in creating a better product for people all around the world. So if you're at all even thinking about applying to a role in the tech industry, please do so. Please reach out to us if there's anything that we can do to help. And as always, please comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And if there are any additional topics that you would like us to cover. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.